Hi guys and welcome to a short tutorial. I just wanted to show you what the scene setup I have for this particular scene with the stool that I just uploaded to Instagram a few days ago. Also, I'm actually doing this video just to check out the new microphone that I just got, uh, which is a Rode microphone NC USB. And I'm really hopeful that it will provide a better sound quality for you guys. So let's just uh, jump in. All right, guys. So here we are, the scene. And as you can see, it's the one with the material that I got. Now, all of these materials actually in this scene are taken from the Keyshot Cloud Library, the one you see down here. And it's great. Uh, we got tons of great uh, materials. I've downloaded quite a few, as you can see over here. Uh, this is some of my favorites. Uh, basically, you just click on the Cloud Library. You don't even have to be logged in. And you find what you're looking for. So, for instance, this one, I believe, is called uh, Weather. Let me just see. Weather Concrete. So, you search for it. Actually, here it is, Weather Concrete. It's an awesome one. It's created by TDA696, apparently. And it's compatible with at least Keyset 7 and up. Uh, it's a great material, so thanks for making that one. Um, but basically, yeah, I've got a, a material here called Dream Fabric, I think it's called. Yeah, and it's, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's made by Espen Oxholm. Again, go into this one. Yep, uploaded by Espen Oxholm. So thank you, Espen, for making this one. It's a great one. I remember that you have a tutorial for that one actually on your YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel. So go have a go have a look at that. How he made that. Um, it's great. And yeah, I'm not using UV unwrapping, which I would love to do, but I I don't have it here in in a Keyshot Eight. And then I have these branches up here, which is from Polygon. It's a great set of branches that I bought. And then have the background material, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a speckle clay, and that's also from the cloud library. Uh, it's this one, speckle clay. And it's made by PUW. Great, again, thank you for that. It works really well for this stuff. Gives you a nice textured background to it. I am unsure if I actually added a few. No, I just, I don't, it's just a texture map, but it's really great. Um, so yeah. So that's basically my setup, at least for material wise. If we zoom out a bit, let me just show you how my lighting setup is here. Uh, and I think I need to go out of depth of field in my camera view. Now you can see actually that I have, uh, this is a, a ground plane, which has the material that I just uh, told you, the speckle clay. And also, I have two backdrop ramps that I used. So this is the backdrop ramp here. It's just two backdrop ramps that are rotated around and used for the backdrop. Great. And um, also, if you rotate it here around, you can see <clears throat> my lighting setup is just an HDRI. So an HDR image here that I created a new environment here. And uh, I have two pins in it. So I have the rectangular one over here which is uh, uh, more bright, it's about 30 brightness. And then I have the other one here, which is uh, more cool light and uh, less brightness, but also softer. Um, and that's basically what I have for light. And when normally when you just have that set up here, um, if you look at it by the default lighting, it would look more like this. But if you go in and add an image style, which I've done, you can suddenly see that you go in and change the exposure, you change the contrast. You also go in and change the histogram a bit. So you lift up these elements up here. I guess that's the highlights and the whites. And then over here, you actually also lift up a little bit the darkest area, the shadows, the midtones and stuff like that. It really helps out. And at the end, I also got the chromatic aberration turned on. And that's more for the, um, the camera angle, one of the these ones, for instance, where you see that something is happening up here at the edge, that's quite a nice uh, detail to add a little bit more realism if you want to. So having this uh, image style is quite helpful when you want to do specific moods for your renders. I <clears throat> I started using these uh, quite recently only, and it's uh, 
due to uh, Sam, Dust Design, who has uh, made some great tutorials about this. Uh, and it just really helped me in, in getting these great uh, scenes up and running. So, so yeah, it's really, really simple. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit and uh, I really please, please comment on uh, the sound quality or anything else that you think this tutorial gave you a question so it's not really a tutorial but just this walk through um, so yeah thanks again for watching